And there's a few things that make a transformation sustainable over time. One is uh, changing the way work is done, right? So really having an execution engine and a process, just like a manufacturing company would have for making products, but for how ideas are turned into initiatives that uh, show up on the bottom line in terms of the P&L or the balance sheet, but that's not real until it's all the way through. The second piece of it is around uh, capabilities, and it's the capabilities in terms of the process capabilities, but it's also how you think about the organization's talent. And transformations that have a formal capability building aspect to them are twice as likely to be successful. What happens typically if you want to make a transformation sustainable? I mean, this is a hard and tough phase that a company goes through for you know one to two years. It's very intense. You build very often almost a shadow organization parallel to the line organization. You have your transformation office, you have the entire infrastructure that you use to push initiatives through a transformation. And at the end of that phase, you somehow want to make sure that it is embedded in the organization because this, this shadow organization will disappear, right? And you have to run the company again through the normal structures. To make a transformation sustainable, it has to go from you not just improving the performance over the next few months, but making sure that whatever we do stays in the company. It's important that beyond the hard measures that you put in place, you work on things like culture, mindsets, capabilities. If you only do cost transformation, typically it's very difficult to excite uh, transformation. I can give you one example. One of my clients, they realized that they have to reduce cost significantly. So they set themselves a high target, a couple of hundred million. But they said, we're going to reinvest a big part of these savings into capability building. So we'll train people to take them into new capabilities to create new opportunities for them going forward. There aren't that many examples of transformations that are, that, are, that are successful that don't have an obsession on growth almost at the same level, if not more so than, than on cost. In the end, this transformation has to be a process, but has to become an ongoing improvement process that has to stay in the company, and has, and needs to allow the company to become better and better over time. That's why we actually put a lot of emphasis in this sustainability and medium-term perspective, not just in the very short term. Um, and then lastly, and most importantly, there's a piece around how you think about changing the culture you know, to reinforce all of those three things and having a healthy organization that's not just performance-oriented, but that's also driving long-term health. Mm -hmm.